when I first bought an aluminium pan to make um, my curries in I was more concentrating on the size of it um, the shape of it uh, but I I didn't know to check about one thing as you can probably see by this pan it's um, fairly well used and I made quite a few curries in this but I always had a problem with it when it's on the burner when it's empty I've got to keep it over that way for it to stay on the, the hob if I've just got oil in there, nothing else, heating the oil up if I, if I put that on there and forget oil all over me it's even worse if I put it here because there's nothing here supporting it just loves the, <clears throat> it loves to fall off I was out shopping today at my um, Asian supermarket <clears throat> treating myself to this pan plunk it on no problem no problem Even pull it up. See, it's still not going to fall off it's on its balancing point but I've got it too far this way anyway so it's something to look for when you're buying a pan what what's causing it is if you can hopefully you can see that there the length of the handle the weight in this handle wants to make it tip. A little tip for you when you're buying a pan, just put it in your hand, put your hand over it, well, put it on your hand like that and see. Just see if it's going to stay on your hand. If you're working on a flat hob, then obviously no problem. <coughs> now with this one on the flat of my hand, perfect. Hope that's helped explain a bit about the aluminium pan. <clears throat>